All right, this video is going to talk about the Anki app with the Anking, and today we'll be talking about the basics of the app, basically how to use it. Uh, just to note, the app is $25 on Apple, it's free on the Android, but it is totally worth it. You can study on the toilet, you can study in line at Disneyland. I use it all the time. Okay, when you first open the Anki app after downloading it from the app store on your iPad or iPhone, you'll get a screen that looks like this. And the first and most important thing you should do is click this sync button in the bottom right corner and log into your Anki account by entering the email and password you made online. This will link up your iPad to your computer to the internet so that you can use any device interchangeably. You'll enter your email and password right here and then click OK. Other settings we want to talk about are up here in the top right in the settings wheel. And the first one we'll talk about is theme. Theme deals with the color scheme of the app. There are three options, blue, dark, and black. I personally prefer dark because it mirrors the night mode add-on on the computer. It's not perfect, but it does a good job and we'll talk in a future video how to make it even better. For now, we'll stick with dark mode. You can also come here to review, which it does with some other settings. The first one is tap. Tap refers to touching any point on the screen. Now this has two options. The first is when the question is shown, and the second is down here at the bottom when the answer is shown. And so notice when, I, when the question is shown, anywhere I tap will show me my answer, and we want to leave that the way it is. In the bottom, when any answer is shown, notice that depending where I tap, it does different things. If I tap on the left, it shows the answer again. If I tap on the right, it answers good. We would recommend leaving those. Honestly, you can click on anything else and see other options, but I think for now, those are the only two that you really need. The other setting we want to talk about is swipes. Swipes refer to moving your finger across the screen in a direction, just like this. So we have swiping to tools and deck lists, and we can change another one to any of the other options. Again, I don't recommend messing with these because there are other shortcuts that are quicker that allow you to do the same thing that we'll show you in a future video. So the last thing we want to talk about is here under a card. If I click on default, now I have my deck open, I can go to tools and I can click on study options. Study options essentially show me all the same settings that I can adjust on my computer. They show me the number of reviews per day, the graduating interval, and I can change all of those just like I could on the computer. The nice thing is when you're synced up with the computer, doing it on either device affects both of them. Okay, and the last thing we want to talk about is how to undo something. Let's say I review a card and I'm not happy about it. In that case, I can either shake my iPad or my phone and it'll undo it, or under my settings, I can have one of my reviews set, one of my taps, let's say top center, I can set it to undo my previous option. Thanks for learning with The On King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.